Hey folks, Turbine Guy back at you today. Today, I wanna discuss with you how to install Enphase IQ7 micro inverters. And I've got an array up here that's got four rows of six modules that I'm in the middle of installing the inverter. Well, the first thing you always wanna do is get prepared. And what I've done is I got my map out and ready. And you, you want to maintain this map and be able to take the serial number tags off the inverters and put them in the right position. Now, the first thing I had to do was to measure out, figure out where they're going to go. And you want them in the middle of every module, pretty much. So what I did was, my modules are 39 wide. I go 19 and a half is half of that. But on the one end, you absolutely got to add an extra inch for the mounting bolt. So I came 20 and one half inches in for the middle of my first inverter. Next one, I'm going 39 because that's how wide it is. But one more time, you got to keep a quarter inch in it for the mounting bolt for the module. So I went there to 39 and a quarter and boom, boom, boom. And I ran it all the way along. And I did that with all of the rails where the inverters are going to be mounted. All right, well, when it comes time to mount the inverter, I've got the official bolt with the nut head that goes right in there fine, it's stainless steel, but if you want to get your own 10 or 11 millimeter head bolts, you can get them yourself. One thing to remember is mount the end phase upside down. And they want to mount it upside down so it's a little further distance from the module in case the module warps a little under a snow load. So you, you want to keep that distance to protect them. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more innovative DIY projects. Now once they're in and mounted, you want to put the adapter for the solar modules in. And these can only go one way. First of all, they won't go into the AC, they won't go into the wrong port, and they won't go in upside down, they only go in the one way. In and out they go, plus plus. Can't get that backwards. We've got these inverters in mounted with the adapters on and what comes next you look at your strings this array where i have 24 modules i've got two strings of 12 i'm going to run so i got together my wire my drops and phase drops i cut them out laid them out and the first thing you want to do after you have them laid out is install your dead end on the dead end inverter and basically what you do is you clip a half inch off the end slide this guy on Slide this guy in, set it all up nice and tighten it, and you're ready to go. And you got a nice, safe, weather tight dead end. All right, well, we've got our dead end installed, and we decided we're going to run around and plug all 12 of the inverters in, as you can see. Now, this one can plug in either way, upside down or not, but it can only plug into the AC and as well. And I like to leave however much wire I can on the end for wiring it into my junction box. Now after you get it all wired up, you want to make sure you get all the wires clipped up and making it look nice. And that's what I got here, are handy dandy Iron Ridge clips that come with the system. You can always use zip ties yourself, they work just fine. But you can see these guys fit right in the rail there and they can clip stuff in real nice. Hey, when it's time to start your DIY project and you need some help, check out my website at gogreenenergyonline.com or give me a call at 952-334-6400.